A student from Hunter College has had a lot to deal with in recent time. Construction all over the Canvas, Ontario Premier Doug Blurge changes to the student aid program, and now the sanitary practices of their cafeterias. The two cafeterias in question are beloved by Humber students, employees who could not be filmed due to a non-disclosure agreement they signed with the school say that they are constantly bombarded with hungry pupils looking for food. The cafeteria's main offerings are pizza, pitas, a salad bar, and chicken fingers, a true delicacy to the middle class college student. For the most part, students enjoy the food selections in the cafeterias. Others say there is room for improvement. Well, it's terrible. I mean, look at that. That's probably the cat food right there. But on a more serious note, it is awful. It's expensive. They barely give you any food for your money. Although many dislike the cafeteria's offerings, there are some who simply resent them. There have been verified reports that the food from both of the cafeterias has sent multiple students to the hospital with cases of food poisoning and dehydration. Police Foundation student Joshua Azardo was one of these victims. Alright, so um, the cafeteria food's just awful pretty much. I got sick last year. I had food poisoning and uh, had to go to the hospital and get an IV and a bunch of other medications to feel better. Uh, Students, mostly from Humber's residents, have had similar experiences. One video even surfaced showing mice in the L building's cafeteria. The clip was then sent to Humber for review. They said they would assess the problem and provided no further comment. Humber no doubt has issues with the sanitary practices in its cafeteria. Another issue is the wait time. A student told me he had to wait a whopping 45 minutes to get a cheeseburger, and the kicker is, once you got it, there was no cheese on it. The question that many students are asking is, how and when will these problems get resolved? That's something that is yet to be answered. From Humber News, this is the one and only Christian Holmes.